Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using my Pig Stamper Spooky Puns um, stamp set and that kind of inspired the the card itself. Um, I'm also going to use just a piece of this frame from the Lawn Fawn, um, it's a, a frame set, um, I forget what the name of it, <laughs> and um, I'm just using the inner, the inner part of it. And then I've also die cut some pieces from some lawn fawn sets. So I've got a spooky um, border die, fence border die. I've got the um, grassy border and I can't remember the name of that other one at the top, but the sort of hillside tree border die. Um, it, there's a couple of dies in that set and that's really, really great for um, creating like a a spooky look but you can also create some really whimsical looks with it um, and I've just cut some black cardstock here to um, create the different layers for the scene um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually ink all of these so I've got some distress oxide in fossilized amber and I thought that would just give it a golden shine on the on the fence um, just so that there's a bit of colour there, but it's still nighttime. You're creating a nighttime scene. You want that kind of gloomy look, but you also want it to sort of look like the moon's maybe shining down on on things. And then I'm going to use some mowed lawn oxide for the grass again, just to give it that highlight, so that you know that it's grass and it's um, you know got a hint of green there, but it's still very dark because it's nighttime. So. It make it makes more sense when you put the card together, but it's it's a great look to to do. Um, I thought that was quite clever on my part. <laughs> so so yeah. And then for the trees or the sort of the leafless trees, I'm going to use a very small blender uh, brush. These are just makeup brushes, by the way, and some white pigment ink. Um, this happens to be Vers Versacolor. Um, I think it's just called white and um, I just went over the edges of that I think that gives a lovely look so if you didn't want to do the oxides in the colors on the other layers you could still if you do this on all the layers um, it'll still give you that sort of creepy nighttime look to it it's just it's very subtle um, but it's it's there and it looks I think it looks really really nice or spooky I should say <laughs> And then the cut that I'm using is from Creator, uh, not Creator Critter, it's from Simply Charmed um, Cricket Cartridge and it's the three pumpkins in a row. Um, there is an individual pumpkin as well. So for my background, my background went a bit wrong. <laughs> so, like these things, you know, we try these out. So to start with, I've got some carved pumpkin um, and I'm, I'm doing this on some watercolor paper just to help when I want to, you know, when you want to spritz it, it just holds the water a bit better. And then I'm going to take some dusty Concord and these are just, these aren't distress oxides, these are just the original inks. Um, and I'm just going to go back and forth in a couple of like stripes and try and get them to blend. Um, I had this vision of what I, how I wanted these to, like how I wanted the gradient of color to go. Um, it didn't quite work out like that and you'll see that in a bit <laughs> and I think um, with the black soot which is this the color at the moment I think really that needs to be just an edge highlight rather than a whole strip of color if that makes sense so I had this idea that maybe the sun not the sun but like the the glow would come up from behind the um, the, the you know the pumpkins and the and the fence borders and, and that sort of thing but it didn't quite work out like that and you'll see that in a minute so I'm just going to spritz this with some water with a distress sprayer and I've also dragged out something I've had for a long time <laughs> I mean the, the the shimmer in there must be 10 years old um, but it still works and I just spritzed that as well it's just some um I think that spritz probably that probably that shimmer is probably the um, it's either a cosmic shimmer or it's a ranger perfect pearls I think they're called um, it's it's one or the other but it's it's been in there for so long I can't remember what's in there 
and then I'm just going to dry this off a bit so I keep spritzing keep dabbing off um, just until I get it to where I want it and the shimmer is very subtle the shimmer when you pick it up in the light you can and turn it you can actually see the shimmer on it um, not so obvious you know on camera so this is where I decided that actually <laughs> I'm going to turn the page that the piece upside down um, so to start with that was what I wanted was to have this slight glow of orange at the bottom um, but that wasn't really working out so I decided that actually I was going to flip it over and just have the top half being the purple and orange combo um, and that worked really well and it the orange also ties in with the orange of the pumpkins and that sort of thing so um, just when I put the pumpkins together I actually used some vintage photo along the edges around the edges just to give it that more sort of distressed dirty kind of look which I love for Halloween <laughs> I think it's a good <laughs> it's a good look for Halloween um, if you like that sort of thing um, so just just you know something else you can add to your your die cuts if you you know if you wanted to so what I'm doing now is the pieces that I cut out are actually longer than the card the, the base that I want to use so I'm just lining them up where I think they're going to look the best and then I will trim off the edges um, of each of those of those sides as they've dried and that way I can then have them the perfect size for the width that I'm using um, and also with the fence I could line up the fence spokes I guess the pointy bits I could line those up right in the middle so that they were lined up nicely and I wasn't trying to cut half of a spoke off because that's kind of tricky <laughs> so, especially I didn't put any glue on it either um, and now I'm going to stamp onto the um, the inside piece of the, the frame that I used from Lawn Fawn and just to get that to tie in because obviously there's no white on this card so I needed to to make this work um, so you'll see I'll, I'll link that up in a minute as well just in the same um, distressing um, vintage photo just so that there is some color on that sentiment so that it doesn't just it doesn't stand out so so harshly um, but for the pumpkins because there's also like a raised there, there's lots of layers on the pumpkins so even though I didn't I stuck them flat to the card I need to raise the the grass layer up so that it's not so uh, bulk, bulky and it doesn't sort of fit not bulky so it doesn't um, sit wonky on the card so I'm just kind of lining up where I want my grass and then I'm going to put some um, some foam adhesive um, where I want to raise that up and thankfully the, the foam adhesive that I've got there is high enough for the depth of the the layers of, of the pumpkins so it, it worked out really well and then I'm just going to take that off line up my grass on there and then trim off the excess and that way everything's level so there's no um, like wonky bits <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that <laughs> there's no wonky bits on my grass and my pumpkins um, so yeah it's just so that it lines up nicely and then everything's level um, that's probably the easiest way to describe it when when you start doing this sort of thing you'll you'll realize what I'm saying if that wasn't clear enough <laughs> so um, and then I'm just taking some vintage photo um, around the edge of that white piece of the sentiment and again that just takes off the the whiteness that is there and just makes it tie in a bit better um, with the whole scene um, it is still quite bright I guess compared to the rest of it um, but I think it, it works somehow and in a way it almost looks like it could be the moon <laughs> shining down I don't know my weird things in my head so I hope you like this I hope this wasn't too disjointed um, <laughs> it's been a while um, there's been some stuff going on so um, I hope you like this I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you give this a whirl by using your die cuts to create scenery cards with um, so yeah happy Halloween in July are we still in July no we're not we're in August hello um, I will see you in the next one guys take care bye